trucking with Fitz today. Uh, well, we're going to do one low with you guys today, one short one. But uh, really what we're going to do today is talk about how much it costs to rent this semi-truck. Stay tuned. Well, we are towards the end of the day today. I didn't record a lot today because I knew there was something I wanted to talk about and I wanted to little, take a little break from recording. So, um, or we did an autumnal this morning, which means today wasn't a real profitable day. Um, you know how I feel about that. Um, and then we did an Iowa City, which that's a good load. I enjoy doing that. And I was hoping for an Altoona but, or an Ames, but that didn't happen. All they got is Marshalltown. Um, this is one of like two trailers that are loaded right now. It's not looking great for tomorrow. I really wanted to do one tomorrow. I sort of need to do one tomorrow uh, to pay for all the extra stuff that's happening, like renting a truck, which is what we're talking about right, right now. So we're gonna go uh, get our paperwork. And then uh, as we do this last load for today, we're gonna um, talk about what it costs. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, we are doing our usual here if you're just coming in just for this video I haul power only out of a Menards distribution center here in Marshalltown Iowa and uh, I just hooked on to a trailer uh, 11870 I believe is what I grabbed and uh, I got a scale out here they probably already have this number from the yard dog but uh, it's not extremely important that I do this. I just want to make sure that I'm not over. So yeah, we're good. Um, like I say, they should already have the number, but we check it anyway, because I have been overweight before. Uh, in fact, just a couple days ago, I weighed 84,000 pounds, which here in America, Unless you have permits, that is illegal. Um, I could have gotten permitted for that amount of weight because the trailer was a tri-axle trailer, but I am not permitted. So, um, got scaled out. And now we're gonna go get our paperwork from the office and uh, then we're gonna run three miles to the local Menard store. Okay, so before we get into the, the numbers of how much it actually costs, uh, I should probably tell you why I'm running a semi truck. So, my truck, I own a 1998 Freightliner FLD 120. Uh, it has a Cat 3406E 6TS, 6TS prefix. Um, and I've been having some trouble with a little bit of rough running. So, um, it's in the shop to get some the, the fuel pressure tested as it's going down the road and I don't like come pulling out of during this time of the day it's no fun um we did a cutout test on the injectors and they all passed technically still could be something like that but anyway it's in the shop for fuel issues uh there could be other things anyway that's that's what I'd usually drive and uh that's the general reason for why it's in the shop um, I don't normally rent a semi truck. It's usually, uh, it's it's my truck I run on these runs. Like I said, I, I, I run for Menards. Um, I am an independent owner operator, so I have my own authority. And um, own authority, I have my own truck, uh, own numbers, all that. Uh, I pull Menards trailers. So I go around the state of Iowa here to different Menards um, and deliver construction supplies on a flatbed. Uh, the trailers are preloaded here in Marshalltown. I pick them up, haul them to the stores, they unload them, live unload, and then I take the empty trailer all the way back to the yard. That's sort of how I run. Um, yeah. So let's talk about what it is that I'm renting right now. I'll show you later an actual, like I actually get to see the, the, the truck here. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you already know what it looks like, but it is a 2019 International Pro Star. 
day cab, uh, twin screw, and uh, it has a 450 horse um, X15 Cummins under the hood. Uh, it's got a 13 speed uh, automated manual. And uh, I don't know the gear ratio, but I suspect it's in the lower threes. Don't know for sure. I never asked. But that's sort of an idea of the basic specs of this truck. Um, I've had it for one week. So the, the, the um, amounts that I'm gonna tell you are, will, will be for one week of renting. And uh, I'm gonna need to go ahead and look at those. So we'll, we'll, we will look at those numbers when we get to the store here. It's not very far away. Um, I'll see in just, it's like a mile and a half from where I am right now. We'll see in a minute when we get to the yard. Okay, so we're we're here in uh, Menards here in Marshalltown. Short little load, like I said. Um, just been writing down my numbers, making sure I got everything straight up. So let's go ahead and get into the numbers as to how much this actually cost to rent um, this truck. And I do have um, more information than just the actual rental numbers, just, just for kicks and giggles. So first off, how much did it cost to rent for one week. So I did a total of 1,781 miles and uh, it's 13 cents a mile. So that's that adds $231.53 to the bill. And um, the rental for the week is $800. I'm renting it per week, not per month. So it's a short term rental. Um, week by week. So the total comes to, out to $1,093.42 to rent for one week. So yeah, th this is the best deal on rental that I've found. Um, most places are more like 900 a week. Um, I don't remember what the other ones were per mile but that's those numbers. So just, just because this is free information, maybe you care, maybe you don't. I did say that this was the X15. So the fuel economy is not as good as it could have been with other brands. Um, so what did I get for fuel economy? <laughs> Honestly, I almost do better with my, with my, uh, FLD, uh, 6.08 miles per gallon. Um, couple things to note about that is like I said it is x15 and we have had very windy days like right now coming I came from Iowa City um, back to Marshalltown previously and I was going straight into a 22 mile per hour sustained deadhead dead headwind coming out of the west so that's part of the reason why it's so bad uh, the day that I did have good wind, or basically no wind, um, I got almost seven miles per gallon. So that's a good thing to note. Um, I go 60 and 55s, and I go 65 and 65 mile per hour zones and 70 mile per hour zones, which is, you know, most of your, your roads, main roads here in Iowa. Um, I don't go above a 65. So that's a little bit of a reference there. Um, so that's, uh, let's see, 1,781 miles is how much I did in that billing cycle at 6.08 miles per gallon is 292.93 gallons. So a total, uh, factoring in $3.40 fuel is a total of $995.95 in that cycle. So that's some real world, real world numbers. And uh, I did have one other piece of information, if you care, um, that I, I pulled up. So insurance. Um, 
let me calculate one more thing and I'll get back with you. So what I wanted to calculate was um, how much insurance went up. So for the end of my to the end of my term, which is uh, October 10th is when I renew. Uh, April 11th is when this went active. So that's basically, it's six months. Six months of time, and my premium went up $5,249. Um, this truck declared value is $65,000. Um, and of course it has to have comp and collision. Uh, $5,249 for six months, which is divided by six, $874.83 a month increase. So for your information, so what, a couple hundred dollars a week added on is how much it costs. Now I am only going to, well, obviously I don't have to pay to the end of the term. So that uh, $5,000 number is not going to be accurate because hopefully I get my truck back very soon. But um, yeah, those are the actual numbers to rent a tandem axle day cab international pro star um, per week. Let's go ahead and finish out this load. Okay, I stopped at my favorite little spot to stop and chat. I want to show you the truck very quickly, just so you can have a glimpse of it. We're not going to stay outside very long because it is really freaking windy. Uh, you can see it in the grass right now. Look at that. It's kicking. Welcome to spring in Iowa. But bear with the wind. I'm probably not even going to talk, or if I do, it'll be very little. But y'all probably know what I'm what it looks like. But anyway, here we go. Okay, I guess the question in closing here is, is it worth it? Probably what you want to know. You got the real numbers. It's expensive, guys. It's expensive to rent one of these. But it is more expensive to not. And, uh, well, I just got off the phone with my mechanic, and he hasn't even looked at it yet. He's probably going to tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday. Uh, which it's fine. I'm not giving our time. Um, having to sit this entire week would have been very bad for the bottom line. So it it cuts the margins significantly, but I still got bills to pay. I still got insurance to pay. I have a truck payment on my my truck. Um, I got things that are coming at me whether or not I'm running. And so I gotta pay myself. So that's that's why I'm running. It, it, it Like I said, margins are cut significantly thinner, but there still is a margin. Um, I'm not gonna get into that, but for me it's worth it. So take that with a grain of salt. I don't know your numbers. Um, I don't know your operating expenses. I don't know what fixed costs you have. Um, I was expecting this to get better fuel economy. So it, it, I was expecting it to be more worth than that it is. Um, but that's just my experience here. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, your experiences with this type of situation, put them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about it. But besides that, this is going to end the video. Thanks for watching today, guys. I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. And again, like I said, comment down below. And we will see you on the next one.